Harder. What a great name. Absolutely fantastic. Sounds like a samurai in the flesh. Now, Andrews, what do you think of the event so far? Well, it's the event, so every time it's amazing. The death fight, that's very interesting because I saw the last, uh, the, in the last century, uh, Nikolai fought, and uh, he, like, very tough guy. Well, we've said it before, here in the Balkans, they breed them a little bit different. And I think, you know, their history can tell a story, but these guys are tough. Um, yeah, really tough. So, here we go. Nikola Todorovic in the blue corner. 25 years of age, and he's facing a very, very young man, 18 years of age, Kristin Mustiatsa from Moldova. Now, although he's only 18, he is a Mayor's Cup champion and a multi-time kickboxing champion of Moldova. So, the match... Oh, he took a, nice, a big left hand there. I don't know if he was wobbled or he ducked under that. Now, Todorovic, he's got seven wins and two losses here in the Senshi ring, so he's going to be very comfortable here. Nice kick. He looks very strong, doesn't he, Andrews? And, um, you know, Christian Mustiatze is making his Senshi debut. He's young, and it just makes me wonder if such a big stage might put some extra pressure on him. Todorovic looks very, very confident indeed. He's threw a big right hand there, followed up with a body punch. And he's taking Mustiatsa's punches just on the gloves, not being bothered. Mustiatsa there rolling under a punch very nicely. Jab to the body, rolling. Now, as a young man here, Mustiatsa, he's got great technique, but just something that's perhaps showing at these early stages is a lack of power. And I don't know if I'm right in saying that. And he's backed up in the corner to Do Todorovic here. Straight right. He's quite good to keep the distance. Still nice. Yeah, Todorovic looking very comfortable and not phased at all by anything that the Moldovan is throwing. And as I say, it's a very big stage for that Moldovan to step up to. Spinning back fist there, which, which could have caught on the elbow there. Ernesto who's spotted that very well and just ticked him off. Todorovic pressing, nice body. Body punch, liver shot, high kick. The Moldovan shakes it off. And whatever the outcome here, this is great experience for Kristin Mutsiatsa. But he's put wow. down there. Down. Now, that was, was that a body shot there, Andrew? Like, yes, 90 by four, shot. So that's five, taken the wind out of him. Six, seven, eight. He's taken a standing count. He's ready to go again. But Todorovic is going to smell blood. Well, <laughs> just at the, saved by the bell. <laughs> so, Kristen Mutsiatsa there. His corner need to give him a boost. The end of the first round, which I would say, you know, because of the knockdown, on top of the dominance of Todorovic, he would have lost that round. But he's here to fight. But such a young man on such a big stage fighting someone so experienced as Todorovic is a very tall order. But full credit to the man. And this is invaluable experience for him to take to the future. But we're going to see how he recovers from that body shot. He's had a minute's rest, which just goes like a flash when you're tired, doesn't it? Man. If you sit there in your living room and just count a minute, it seems to take forever. But when you're exhausted and someone gives you 60 seconds rest, it seems to take about five seconds, five seconds. to pass. Yes. So here we go, second round here. 
And Todorovic, nice long jab. Mustiazza on the back foot. Still in the fight. Right hand there. And Todorovic here. He knows he hurt his opponent at the end of that first round. And there's another body shot. And that's on the liver side, which if it hits the target on that floating rib, just takes the air right out of you, doesn't it? There's that spinning back fist again. Now, what I'd say is there's not many low kicks being thrown in this contest. And Mustiazzi changes stance a little bit, southpaw to orthodox. But putting up a great fight against a very credible opponent. There's that body shot again and a high knee. Straight right, knocks him down. He's claiming it was a slip, but I think Ernesto's going to count One, him. Yep. Two, three. I think that's correct. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, Todorovic here, is he going to finish the job? I think he's, you know, he's got the opportunity. Oh, that was a nice knee, a flying knee. I think that hurt the Moldovan. A right hand. And he could finish these combinations with a low kick and really hurt Mustiazza. Left hook, another left hook. He's in the corner. Ernesto's taking a close look at this. And that knee hurt him. He's going to get Whoa. another count. So he's taken two, two counts in a round. Three, if he takes another count, four, the fight is over. Five, Second six, down the same seven, so he's beat the count twice. And I can see Ernesto is looking very closely at this. He's not going to let the Moldovan take any really, really unnecessary punishment. But here, you know, the Moldovan knows that he's been hurt, he knows he's behind, and he's coming back strong. Full credit to him. Last 10 seconds of the second round, and I think he's going to make it into the third and final round. Todorovic here. He's not going to finish the fight. Wow. Go to the last round. <laughs> it's going to the last round. As I say, absolutely fantastic and invaluable experience for Mustiazza. But really, I think he's outclassed here tonight by the Serbian Nikola Todorovic, who's graced the Senshi ring nine previous times with seven wins and two losses. But at just 18 years of age, Christi, you have to give full credit to Christy Mustiazza. With five more years' experience, he could be absolutely an absolutely incredible yes, fighter incredible. and even then he'll still be two years Second younger out. than Todorovic is now seconds so out. seconds out That's third right. and final round final round and Mr Perfect Ernesto Hoos gets them to touch final gloves round. in the middle of the ring judges are ready timekeeper hits the bell Stiff jab from Todorovic to start the round. Now, I don't know. I don't know what Mustiazza would have to do here to turn the tables, apart from go kamikaze and throw some very, very big punches. Todorovic there just off balance. Big right hook. But still no real heavy low kicks. A left, nice. a left hook there from the Moldovan. So he's still in there. Oh, a knee puts him down. He's trying to shake it off. 
He's going Four. to beat this count. I'm sure of that. Six, seven, eight. But to win this fight now, he's got to pull something out of the bag. Very big indeed. Big haymakers now coming from Todorovic. He knows he can finish the fight. He's, he's knocked him down now from the, by the body and by the head. Oh, big body shots there, big kicks. And the Moldovan's still trying to come forward. A head kick. He's also exhausted. Another big knee. He's going to go down again. And Ernesto Hust, Mr. Perfect, makes the decision to bring the contest to an end. That's a TKO. And I think that's great refereeing. Yes. From Ernesto. Good decision. Very good decision. You know, I, I think full credit to Christian Mustiatza, a young fighter coming from Moldova. And bear in mind, these countries, some of these countries in Europe, Slovenia, Moldova, Montenegro, that, Mold, uh, Mo, sorry, Moldova's only got a population of two and a half million. And so to, to be a champion and get out of your country and compete on the world stage is very, very difficult. But full credit to Nikola Todorovic. He came in, good conditioning. He took the fight maybe a bit longer than he needed to, but he's given himself a good workout in the process. Yes. So he now goes eight and two here in the century ring, and I'm sure we're going to see him back in the future. So thank you to Andrews Nakahara joining me here in the commentary desk, and we'll see you again later, brother. So, Senshi 21, ladies and gentlemen, what an evening it's turned out to be. I said at the beginning, we get better and better with each outing. It's now been, I think, 2018 Senshi started. Today, for anyone who's interested, it's my one-year anniversary on as part of the Senshi team. And it is a team, it's a family. Really, this event has got real good values You'll notice there's none of this um, obnoxious vulgarity at the, at the press conferences and weigh-ins. We uphold the Budo ethics, the traditions of real martial arts, honor, respect, warrior spirit, and sportsmanship. So we don't, it's not something we want, it's something that we demand, and it's something that we're gonna promote. 